Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother Rayyan Arab and I would like to talk to you today about something many people question about. Many people have questions in regards to what is that? Dreams. You know, I had a dream the other day. What does this mean? Um, when I was dreaming, somebody was chasing me and I, was, and, and, I, and I couldn't run. What is this? What is this all about? Dreams. And many of us have dreams at least, you know, like four or five times a week minimum yeah and and some of us have dreams every night some of us cannot even sleep due to nightmares we have so we just want to talk about the three different types of dreams that were mentioned by the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam now the first type is a ru'ya and this is a vision something you saw from the almighty allah allah showed you this dream you saw something good you saw some light you saw some birds flying you saw somebody giving you good news you saw something that you won't forget. I mean, when you wake up the next day, you're not gonna forget this dream. Why? Because it, it meant so much to you. It made you happy. It made you smile. You loved it. You laughed. That is from the Almighty Allah. These are the dreams from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and it is called a ru'ya. The second type is the dreams that we think about. The dreams that you know, before we sleep, we're thinking too much. We're constantly thinking about this matter. We're stressed. Um, we cannot. Uh, we cannot go to sleep easily why because this thing is on my mind you know I want to be rich and I just think throughout my day and I, I imagine myself rich so when I sleep I may see that I am a rich man or I see that you know I have a lot I'm, I'm holding money or in exchanging money etc etc so these dreams which are called uh, ahlam, these are the dreams that you know that affect us psychologically uh, they affect our thoughts psychologically and they turn into dreams because we thought about this so much so then this comes from our own selves from our own desires from our own minds and the third type is the dreams that are from the shaitan and these dreams are the ones that scare us they horrify us we wake up in the middle of the night we're like oh am i still here alhamdulillah and you know you you, you feel as though when you were sleeping you couldn't move you were stuck you couldn't go anywhere you felt somebody was choking you or you wanted to speak but you couldn't speak these are nightmares and this is from the shaitan from the devil so when we face these dreams or when we see these dreams as soon as we wake up we should say rajim. I ask Allah to protect me from the devil then you blow three times on your left shoulder like this and that's it you go back to sleep and do not worry if you were sleeping on your right side you could sleep on your left side if you were sleeping on your left side you could sleep on your right side and with these dreams you don't have to worry don't think about it don't tell anybody about it because these are nightmares from the shaitan what the shaitan wants to do is to worry you so that you cannot focus on the deen so that you cannot focus on worshiping Allah so you could only think about that dream however the dreams that are from the Almighty Allah and that is the ru'ya these are the dreams that you could tell people you love it is uh, it is the sunnah it is of the sunnah to tell the people only the people you love so for example you saw in a dream that you know you you saw something good Allah gave you glad tidings in a dream through somebody and you woke up the next day you could tell your wife if you love her you could tell your parents you could <laughs> you could tell your family you could tell your siblings you could tell your children it's okay but don't tell people who would, who would envy you. I mean, we remember the story of Yaqub alayhi salam when Yusuf saw a dream in his sleep. He saw that 11 planets are prostrating to him. So Yaqub told him, don't tell your brothers. Why? Because his brothers are envious. They hated him. They envied him. So we shouldn't tell the people who envy us about our dreams, even if they're good. What we should do is just tell the people who we love. And for the dreams that are nightmares, we shouldn't tell anybody at all. We just blow to the left side. <laughs> blow three times and don't worry about that for the dreams that we that affected us psychologically the thoughts that affected us psychologically and turned into dreams those dreams you could tell people you don't have to but they're just you know they're just dreams but don't get too happy about them because you, it was just that you were thinking too much about it and it, it turned into stress and it it, it, it it turned into a dream a dream that just appeared in your sleep so the two main dreams are the ones that we focus on and that is the dream that is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
we, uh, we say this is glad tidings and we say Alhamdulillah when we see this dream and the dream that is from the shaitan we don't tell anybody about this we don't even think about it at all because this is only from the shaitan he is trying to worry us and he is trying to scare us we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who follow the right path and to make us righteous Muslims and to benefit others Jazakumullahu khairan share this message share this message because a lot of people have questions about dreams and they need some answers and perhaps this video could help them thank you very much for listening Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu